Hey guys, welcome to another Crusher TV Tech Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Element 3D to take any logo that you have and turn it into a 3D object for a really cool intro effect or bumper or outro. Okay, so I have my logo layer here, PH, Project Heart, and a texture layer beneath it. The texture is just a JPEG. So they are actually pretty much the same thing, except for uh, one doesn't have a backdrop on it. The first thing you want to do with your logo is make sure that it has a transparency layer and that you just get the logo itself, you don't have a white background or anything like that. What you want to do after you have your logo with a transparency layer is basically go to Layer and then Auto Trace, hit OK. What After Effects just did for you is mask out each aspect of your logo. So that makes it very easy for uh, Element 3D to recognize different portions that you're going to later extrude. So from there, we want to create a new layer, and you're going to make a solid. I just like to call it Element. This is the layer that I'm going to put Element 3D on. You can go over to your presets, drop Element in. If you don't have Element, it's a plugin you have to purchase from Video Copilot. After you have it on your solid layer, you can then go over to the Effects tab and twirl down Custom Layers. From here you see two options, custom text and masks, and custom texture maps. So under custom text and masks, we are going to point it towards a path layer, which if you remember is going to be phlogo.ai for us. That's the one that we just auto traced with all the masks. Then twirl down custom texture maps. This is going to point towards the texture that you're going to later have to superimpose on your masks that are going to be extruded using Element 3D. So we have this JPEG that's basically a duplication of it and that is what we're going to point to. It's very important that all of these portions have the exact same um, aspect ratio. See this is 1920 by 1080, the logo and the texture file 1920 by 1080. It's extremely important, this is the most important part about this entire tutorial, that these are the same resolution so whenever you go to superimpose your texture onto your logo it fits perfectly so let's go back into it. our element layer hit the effects tab we're gonna go to scene setup which will launch the element 3d interface pretty awesome it's very easy since we already have element 3d pointing towards our path layer we're going to extrude it just hit this little big T up here extrude and suddenly we have our logo. All those masks have been extruded. You can mess with the thickness of this and change all kinds of other aspects of it, which I might go over into another tutorial later. But for now, all we are going to do is try to put our texture onto this layer. So from there, you're going to actually twirl down your extrusion model and click the bevel layer. This is your textures and color maps. Scroll down all the way to diffuse, and you're going to hit this little button that says none set up here where you can choose a texture that we have told Element 3D that we want to use. So we're going to hit the texture layer, hit OK, and you may notice it looks horrible, and that is because we have not checked our Use Layer as UV box. Boom. So since both the texture and the logo are in 1080p, the same resolution, they both line up perfectly, after we use a layer as a UV, you can see that it sticks and looks pretty cool. You can hit OK, and suddenly there it is. But how do we test it? You may be asking yourself. Easy enough. You go to Layer, New, Camera. So now we can recognize it as a 3D element. And you can use the Orbital Camera tool to cycle around it to see that it is indeed a 3D layer. From here, say you, you wanted to animate this 3D object, you can use the camera to animate it. Or if you really wanted to, you can go into the effects panel, twirl down group one, hit particle replicator, and inside here, you can change the Z position of your object, your X and Y, and obviously your rotation also. So I actually made this for my brother's nonprofit called Project Heart, which helps uh, raise awareness and research for CHD. You can see what I ended up making for him this intro. So that's it. This was a short and sweet tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment and make sure you share this with your friends. Also, for future tutorials, make sure you hit subscribe. 